Spareform videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our uh, regular NBA conference update call with Jordan Sharp. We're uh, winding down the regular season. Today is April 7th, so all these teams have about five or six games left, and then the playoffs begin. Jordan, thanks for being back with us. Pete, where has the season gone? I don't. I don't. I've told you before. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know where. I do not know Lord, where all the time over. goes. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the at the Western Conference. A lot of parity in the West and a lot of strong teams, and some of the top teams in the West have been a good bets against the spread. What can you tell us about uh, the Western Conference in terms of maybe some value in the playoffs uh, or the rest of the way? So we'll start with kind of the top seeds right now in the Western Conference. I think the, the, obviously if you look at the standings, the Spurs are pretty much locked up that number one overall seed. Um, uh, they're, I think, definitely without a doubt the most complete team in the West right now. They're, I think, setting the pace for everyone else. And as they've been, I don't know, for the last better part of a decade, probably going to continue to be a pretty solid bet against the spread, even though, as we've, as we've been saying a lot of these teams, you're going to have to be on it uh, late uh, when these games are getting ready to tip off before you lock in your bets to make sure none of these guys are getting, getting rest uh, you know, on short no, on short notice or anything like that. But I'm a little weary right now of the Oklahoma City Thunder, Pete. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they have enough right now to get through and get to the NBA Finals through this Western Conference we have. They are an excellent team. They may be the best team. They may be better than the Spurs. I could be wrong, but they have a lot of problems right now. And one of the biggest problems is the fact that they can't get easy baskets. And in the playoffs, when teams are buckling down defensively, you're going to have to get some easy baskets. And the Thunder just don't have anyone to give them to right now. And we're going to talk about this a little bit more here. But the Thunder, I am very, very weary of right now. The West of the Western Conference is pretty much a crapshoot right now. I do think there's going to be an upset. I don't think there's going to be multiple upsets in the first round, but I do think there's a possibility that there could be one in the Western Conference playoffs coming up. All right, yeah, let's talk about OKC a little bit because, uh, you know, Russell Westbrook came back and we were thinking, like, maybe they'll be, uh, you know, overvalued, maybe they'll be undervalued and be a great bet. Uh, they've been about 50-50, uh, both straight up and against the spread, just a little bit uninspiring. So if you think, are they, if they're having troubles on the court, maybe then they'll be a good bet be, uh, for the rest of the regular season because they're trying to fix those problems? Or do you think that, they're, that those problems are going to persist and they're just going to, you know, forget about the last few games, look ahead to the playoffs, and they'll be a good bet again? against uh, the rest of the way. I think your position on the potential for them the rest of the regular season could be correct, but mm -hmm. I am not very bullish on the Oklahoma City Thunder right now heading into the playoffs. I think they could be one of the best fades mm -hmm. heading into the Western Conference playoffs because they're definitely going to be valued heavily yeah. by the public in this first round, you're and you're going to see them run up against a team, possibly the Dallas Mavericks, who has been playing much better, and they have Dirk Nowitzki, a team that's won a championship and that has the ability to knock this team off. I mean, Pete, you you probably know just as much as I do. I mean, the Thunder have the ability to be a great bet at ATS, but right now with the way they're looking, I think they could be one of the sneakiest spades of the entire NBA playoffs. And I think even if they, especially if they're up against Dallas or maybe even a team like Golden State, when they go in go into Golden State, mm -hmm. could be an excellent fade coming up here in about a week, a week or two. All right, sounds good. And then what can you tell us about? Uh, you know, we've talked a lot about the top teams in the West. Aside from the top four teams in the West, uh, are there any teams that have caught your eye? Uh, you know, ATS wise for any reason? Nobody's really caught my eye, but I will say this. I think if the matchup is is right in the mm -hmm. first round, the Portland Trailblazers, as we saw them play very, very well to start the season, we sure. know they have the ability to play very, very well. And uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, before he got hurt, was really staking his name into the MVP discussion. If they can somehow get that back, they could be an excellent tail coming into the playoffs mm -hmm. because people are so down on them right now with after the after uh, uh, LMA got hurt and after they kind of went on that slump there uh, during his injury. People aren't really looking to them right now as a source of value. And I'm not really for the rest of the regular season, but once the postseason starts and if they're uh, like up against a team like the Rockets that doesn't play a whole lot of defense, they could legitimately be a good bet and uh, possibly even upset Houston and win that series. So I'm really keen on Portland. And as you know, I've been on the Grizzlies all season. They really haven't been that great against the spread. They're slightly under 500 on the year. But if they're able to sneak back into that eight seed, which I don't think they currently hold because the Suns beat the uh, Thunder the other night, if the Grizzlies sneak back in and they play the Spurs, obviously we know they have the uh, ability to win that matchup because, of course, they've done it before. So don't discount the Grizzlies if they sneak into that eight seed, and definitely don't, don't discount the uh, Portland Trailblazers here once the playoffs start. All right. You think that uh, Memphis will be a good bet for the rest of the regular season then? 
Memphis definitely, I think, for the rest of the regular season because they have to fight to get in the playoffs. Right. I think any team right now fighting to get into the playoffs is probably going to be, at least on the surface, a pretty good ATS bet. Don't get wild and just blindly start betting teams like the Knicks or something that are trying to get into the playoffs because, like, the Knicks in the Eastern Conference have a very tough schedule, mm -hmm. and they're still two games back. They're almost completely dead, even though they're still mathematically in it. But teams in the West, Grizzlies, as we've seen, the, uh, the Suns have been a great bet all season, I think. Uh, possibly even the Dallas Mavericks, like I mentioned earlier, who have been great in some spots, could really be uh, pretty profitable over the last four or five games here to end the regular season. Interesting thoughts.